Hi there. In this video, we're going to implement a health system for our character. First, we're going to take a look how we can display our health above our character. And then we're going to take a look how we can display our health in UI screen. We're going to use Buildbox Adventure Template to do our demonstrations. And before we start making health, let's add an enemy. We'll just add a sphere for our enemy and we'll turn off physics. And let's use a red color for our enemy. We'll add it to the scene and that's too big. We'll scale it down to 0.5. Now let's go inside our sphere and let's add if collide node that will be listening to collision with our character. And when the character collides, we'll use the damage node And the target that we're looking for is not self, but sensor. It's the object that it collided with, which will be our character. And let's add a delay. So the reason for adding a delay is giving some time for the damage logic to finish running. I find that giving it a hundred millisecond is plenty. After the delay, we want to remove our entity and the last thing we want to add is a wave so that our enemy would move from one side to another. We'll just leave the default values. I think they'll be fine for us. And now let's duplicate our enemies so we can have multiple enemies in our scene. Now let's go to our character and we'll add the health node, which is the node that's provided by Billbox that keeps track of health and we'll set health to three. And on defeat, let's add an event observer and we'll trigger game over. We've already created a event observer listener in our UI that will load a game over screen. This is all you have to do to add health to your character. Let's press play. We can see our characters right there. And when we collide with the third one, we get our game over screen. So that means that we have everything working like we expected. Now it's time to add visuals to display our health. And we'll do that by using our custom node. There's going to be a link in description where you can get the custom nodes. We have our guilt health node. The function of this node is if you send a signal to get, this node is going to send your current health as the output value. What we want to do is from health, whenever we're damaged, we want to update our health. And if we're healed, we also want to send our current health value. Now we're going to add another one of our custom nodes. And this node you can use anywhere. It's not specifically related to health, but we can use it for health. This node can receive an input value of integers and it will act as a state machine. If you used Billbox State Machine, it works in a similar way. In Billbox State Machine, you have inputs and outputs for every single state. But for this int to state, uh, we use the value input to switch the state. This is very useful for us because we get an integer value from our get health node. So now we can connect it to int state. And we can expect that whenever the value of our health is changed, the appropriate state will be triggered. Let's remove the state machine that we have. Now we can add our animation or the images that we want to display for our health. And we're going to use hearts for this one. So let's put our first image in and we want to change some settings. Since this health is going to be displayed over our character, we want to switch to billboard so that when our character is rotating, this image will not rotate. And some of the settings that we will configure is we will bring it up front by 50 and bring it up by 50. And our scale will do 0.2 and 0.3. Now we can create four duplicates of this by clicking S and let's add appropriate images for that. So one heart, two hearts and three hearts. Now we connect this together. 
that's all we have to do to be able to display the health let's play and let's see how it looks so here's our character and he has full health right now and whenever we collide with our enemy we lose one heart and there we lost another one and when we lose the last one it's game over that was adding health above our character now let's see how we can use the same nodes to add health to our UI screen to start let's go to our mind map and we'll go to our UI now let's create another object we'll use the default object and let's go inside our default object and what we want to do now is add our into state node and for our images let's reuse the images that we already added to our project you can do that by going edit on the animation image and then in image you click add it again and you can select the image you want so we'll use this image and we're going to scale it down to 0.5 now we can add the other images Okay, now we got all our images and we can do the same thing, connect them together. To have our images displayed correctly for different size displays, let's add stick to edge node. And we will want to stick to top and the rest we can leave as default. Now let's go back to our UI and let's display it at the top put it about here okay we can press play and here's our health but we're still not displaying the correct health to do that we need to create a connection between our character and our UI and we can do that by using the send and receive notes let's add a receive note here and we'll connect the output to the value input and we can rename our event name to health. Now let's go to our mind map and 3D world. And inside our character, let's add a send node. And we'll connect it to the value output of the get health. And let's rename the event to health so that they match. And that is it. Let's press play. And now we can see our health in both places. You can use these enabled inputs to turn off any of the nodes. And we can see that it's no longer shown. So this is how you can display health using integers. If you're looking for a way to display health using percentage, we'll make a video on that soon. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.